Silver Lake is a lake. We are located near the lake, right? No. Uh, cause there's a lake that's over, like near here. I don't know. The lake is There's a lake. <laughs> over there, called Silver Lake. Cause of the lake, Silver Lake. Right down the street. Silver Lake got its name because of the lake in the area called Silver Lake. Um, as you may or may not know, uh, the lake touches all of the four original towns, Kingston, Halifax, Pembroke, and Plimpton, uh, hence the name for the regional school district. To this day, Silver Lake is used by the city of Brockton as part of their water supply. Uh, the region was incorporated in 1955, um, and the seal that you see um, about an all of our stationery and, and all of our publications was designed by a member of the class of 1955, a young man by the name of John Hamilton. There's a plaque commemorating this um, in the hallway. Silver Lake wasn't originally called Silver Lake. Silver Lake was actually called Jones River Pond. The name Silver Lake comes from an ice company that used the pond to produce ice. And they thought, as a marketing tool, instead of calling it Jones River Pond Ice, which just didn't sound too great, they decided to change the name to Silver Lake Ice. And that stuck, even though the ice company shortly went out of business. The whole area around Silver Lake was a great area for history in Kingston. There were a lot of theatrical people that lived on Lake Street, including people who came from Boston and New York theaters, as well as from the local circus. One of the great stories about one of the people who visited on Lake Street was a woman who used to practice riding her horses astride, standing astride, that is, barefooted, with one foot on the back of each of the horses. And she'd practice riding up and down Lake Street, and everyone said it was quite a sight to see. Also near Silver Lake was the Mayflower Grove. That was a very interesting time in Kingston's history. It was almost like a little amusement park, with the lake there to, of course, swim in, and bowling, and all sorts of other fun events that people from the city could come down and take part in. It was a great area to visit, but it didn't last too long. The Lady of the Lake, which was the steamer that went across the lake, actually exploded and killed a few people, and that sort of put the end to the tourism in the area. The Brockton Water Commission, which was recreated in 1995 now runs the operation at the Brockton dis water distribution system which includes Silver Lake uh, which is our primary re uh, reservoir where we get approximately 95 percent of this water for the city of Brockton portions of Hans and uh, and Whitman. It is also an emergency supply to all the towns around here including Halifax, Pembroke, uh, and uh, the Hanson in general. The lake was first granted to, the use of the lake was first granted to the city of Brockton back in the, at the turn of the 19th, 19th century. Uh, in 1899, uh, an act of the legislature, chapter uh, 356, granted Brockton the right to take land around Silver Lake and to build the treatment and pipeline back to the city of Brockton. But in that legislation, uh, it also stated that any of the towns around our pipeline should also receive water. Uh, it took about, from 1899 to about 1906 for the water to first start flowing to Brockton. At first, Brockton's population was approximately 60,000. Uh, that has grown to over 100,000, and now uh, we supply water for about 114,000 people. Uh, the water at Silver Lake is actually in a different basin than the city of Brockton is in. Brockton is in the Taunton River Basin, whereas Silver Lake is in the South Coastal Basin. Uh, this 
basin division actually occurs right outside of where Silver Lake's treatment plant is, it would, would be Route 36 for people familiar with the area. Uh, and everything that is to the south of Route 36 is the uh, is in the South Coastal. This we are, where we are right now at Silver Lake Regional High School. Uh, that is also in the South Coastal. The water quality is generally oglotropic, uh, very good quality water. Uh, it's uh, very healthy. Uh, while there is a good aquatic population in the lake, uh, unfortunately, to some of the sportsmen, it is against the, the law to actually uh, fish at Silver Lake. However, you can fish at a land that the city of Rockton, in joint, in a joint effort by the town of Kingston, purchased land which is now right down the street from here, known as the Silver Lake Sanctuary, which is almost 100 acres of basically parkland that you can walk through. Uh, so the, the lake in general, we take presently about nine million a gallon of, of water out of there a day. Uh, when we first took over in 1995, that level was 11.3 million gallons a day. So you can see by our doing uh, our own maintenance work and fixing pipes, we've actually t had an opportunity to save uh, Silver Lake even more and protect it even more because that's one of the Water Commission's very highest priorities is to protect Silver Lake. The, uh, the water body is supported and is a deep glacial lake uh, at, right off of Widgeons Point which is over on the right near the Halifax Plimpton line. Uh, the lake is actually 75 feet deep and uh, a recent study done by Jones River uh, went along with early research done by the city of Brockton. We did it in the 1903. They did theirs in 2003 and found that the levels of the lake have not changed very much in 100 years. Uh, with the possible exception, as Pine will tell you, with the diversion pipe where, uh, where Pine, Mr. Dubois, Pine Dubois, who's the uh, director of the Jones River Watershed Association, uh, at the point where the Montpontet pipe comes into the Silver Lake, right near Widget Point also, uh, there is a slight amount of growth that's occurring, uh, but not to the level that you would find in any of the ponds around here. Me to talk about Silver Lake a little bit, and um, what I Silver Lake is is a long lake, as as most people know. It's over two miles long and it's a half a mile wide. It's also 80 feet deep, and at, and because it's so deep and connected to a large groundwater spring, it's very cold uh, water, and that has our interest because we feel that it's um, it's an extremely unique uh, glacial lake to southeastern Massachusetts, and if we can return. The, uh, the native fish to it, and the anadromous and the spawning fish to it, uh, we can reestablish some of the lost ecosystem that, that was here uh, 100 years ago. So that's very important to us, both because uh, the, the fisheries in uh, Cape Cod Bay are threatened, and because the ecosystem in Silver Lake is threatened, so that we want to connect, reconnect uh, the Jones River in its, in its connection to Cape Cod Bay to Silver Lake. Silver Lake is one of the 10 or 12 largest lakes in Massachusetts that are natural lakes. Uh, there's a misconception that it was dug out in order to be Brockton's water supply, but that is a very, uh, a blink of an eye in relation to the, um, the geology and the ge geologic time of Silver Lake. It's over 14,000 years old. Uh, it came from Glacial Lake Taunton and uh, we think, it, as a remnant lake, it's very important to, to cherish it, to hold on to it, to protect it, and to turn back the clock a little bit so that we can reestablish uh, its health. We want to stop the diversions into it that are, that are adding too much nutrient. The nutrient enrichment is causing plants. There's, a, there's a evidence that invasive uh, milfoils are starting to uh, take root in Silver Lake. We want to avoid that from happening. 
so that we can maintain the integrity of the lake for many, many generations to come. It's uh, an extremely important resource to the four towns that surround it, to the southeastern um, Massachusetts and to the Commonwealth itself, and it's uh, something that in the future is going to be extremely important to those generations that follow us. So with everybody's help, we can uh, clean up the lake, we have to clean up some stormwater, we have to stop those diversions, we have to re reduce the amount of water that's taken out of it so that we can return flow to the Jones River and reestablish the connection between Cape Cod Bay and Silver Lake. Thank you.